it's Marie Bennett at blackberriesandcream.net. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you another quick card that uh, you can make uh, for Christmas. So this is uh, using the new copper foil and you could also use other uh, foil besides the copper. I have also, I've done it in this is the copper, this is gold, hard to tell the difference, but that's gold, <laughs> and then in silver, you could do it in silver also. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I made this card. It doesn't take very long, and that's one of the good things about it at this time of the year. Okay, um... This, the base of this card is using the uh, Whisper White thick card stock and it's cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored down the middle at four and a quarter. This thick card stock I like to use when um, I'm not going to be including a layer on the inside. So for this card I'm just stamping right on the inside of the card. And I'm stamping in stays on black, jet black. And I'm using a stamp out of the stamp set Forever Evergreen Christmas is Love with all the trimmings. I just inked up my stays on so I'm not sure if it's too wet or not. We'll find out right now. Perfect. Christmas is love with all the trimmings. Okay, so the inside of the card is done. Now on the outside of the card I have a layer of um, Emerald Envy and it, it's just a tiny bit, just an eighth of an inch smaller than the Whisper White. So it is cut at um, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And out of this, since this is going to be covered up with the foil, I'm going to use the center part of this to make the ornament. And the ornament is made using a thinlet from, or a framelit, I guess, from the Mary Tags framelits that's in this year's holiday catalog. So I'm going to take this over to the Big Shot, and I'm going to just cut the ornament out of the center of this cardstock. Okay, so the ornament is cut out, and this is ready to put on the card. And I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use fast views for this. Okay, now I have to be careful because it's just a very tiny border all the way around. Right there, I think. There. And you can see that I have about a sixteenth of an inch border all the way around. Okay, so this next layer on the foil is made using a piece of foil that measures four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to put it in the embossing folder, and this embossing folder is called Pine Bow. It's in the current uh, Stampin' Up! catalog. Alright, so the foil is embossed, and the next step is to use, I'm going to use Tombow glue for this, because the back of this foil paper is a little bit um, plasticky feeling, I don't know. And the tape doesn't seem to want to stick as well to it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Tombow glue. Get 
did plenty on there so I'm sure it'll stick and the same thing this is going to have just a very small border all the way around about an eighth of an inch okay I'm going to turn that over and press it so I don't get fingerprints all over it all right uh, the next thing we're going to do is stamp the sentiment, deck the halls, and I'm stamping this also in uh, stays on. And the foil is a little slippery, so you need to be careful when you stamp on foil. Go straight down. Leave it there for a minute. I give it a tiny rock back and forth to make sure the whole image comes out and then pull it straight off. Okay, deck the halls. Alright, we're getting close to being done. The, the last step is making the ornament. And for the center of the ornament, I've used um, Dazzling Diamonds glitter paper and this is just left over from another project that um, I did. So I have these little discs cut out. And I think uh, at the time I did this project, I punched them out with a... Um, this might be the one. Let's see. Yes, one and a quarter inch circle punch is what I used. Okay, so I need one of those. And now the ornament that we ran through the Big Shot, you just push that off. And this is a very uh, intricate framelit. And so you need to use the metal platform, not the normal one, but the one that you can get for intricate thinlets. Oops. <laughs> Here's my mess from last time. Okay, so I've got this little brush, and it comes with this foam pad. And you just run it over and loosen up. Um, and I just do back and forth, one side or the other, till they're pretty much gone. Loosen up all the little pieces that form the pattern around this ornament. And at some point, you've pretty much got them all. Then I take my uh, paper piercer and just poke out the little ones that are stubborn and don't come out with the brush. There. So now this is ready for glitter. And for the glittering uh, process on this, I use the two-way glue pen. And I'm just going to put some glue around the edge. I'm not being real picky because I just want the glitter there to be some glitter all the way around this ornament. Okay, then I have some of this opalescent glitter. And I don't think, I think I got this at Joann's maybe, but if you have Stampin' Up! Glitter, I'm sure it's probably pretty much the same thing. Okay. There's the glitter. Now I'm going to adhere the um, white glitter circle. Whoops, I'm going to put the lid on my ink before I get it all messed up. All right, I'm going to adhere this with a dimensional. I only need one. Okay, and I'm just going to give this a minute for the glitter and the glue to dry well. And while that's happening, I need to get a piece of um, twine. And in the current uh, Stampin' Up! holiday catalog, they're selling this gold um, baker's twine. Really nice twine. So 
is going to cut a piece off. Looks like about maybe eight inches. Put the ends together. And stick them through the hole at the top of the ornament. Then pull the ends back through the loop. Like that. And then I'm going to tie a bow right there at the top of that loop. Adjust the bow. I like this twine, it's really easy to work with. All right, now I'm going to trim off the little ends of the bow that and then I just adhere this ornament to the card using two glue dots one in the center and one where the bow is and I'm going to put the one where the bow is goes first so I can be sure I get it on the branch. And then just do that. And this card is finished. So this is a quick card that's kind of festive for Christmas. I did it the first time I was playing with this idea. I did not put glitter on the ornament. And you can see what that looks like, what the comparison is. I think I like the glitter on the ornament better but whatever and you can also see uh, what the cherry cobbler looks like as compared to the emerald envy I, I'm a cherry cobbler person but <laughs> whatever you like this is a very uh, simple way to make cards let just use your big shot and an embossing folder and and uh, embellish the, the what you've embossed put on a greeting and you're good to go well, I hope you like the idea, and I hope you have time to use it. If you need um, materials, I, I have a link in the description below the video to my online store. And if you uh, go to my blog, on the blog page, I will have a list of all of the materials that I used in making this card. So thanks for watching, and happy stamping. <laughs>